Tonight we're looking into a $1.2 million settlement in the death of a man inside the same jail. Marquise Walker died after spending time in a restraint chair. Investigative reporter Matt Fleener shows us what happened and what's next. It was December of 2021. Marquise Wagner came to the Jackson County Detention Center. What happened after that led to a wrongful death lawsuit. Marquise had no prior convictions whatsoever. This was his first instance. Attorney John Paserno detailing what he calls a tragedy for his client. After 21 year old Marquise Wagner was booked into the Jackson County Detention Center, the lawsuit says Wagner had signs of an urgent medical and mental health condition. The lawsuit also says he continued to show strange and abnormal behavior. Eventually, deputies put Wagner in a restraint chair at approximately 8.30 p.m. The lawsuit says he told authorities he couldn't breathe or was dying more than 20 times. At 9.13 p.m., the lawsuit says he appears to lose consciousness and stop moving or breathing. In this instance, we believe that had the nurses done their job, had they examined him, taken his vital signs, gotten him to a hospital, provided him with the care that he needed, which basically was uh, fluids um, and not to be placed in a stressful situation, uh, we believe that he would have survived. The Jackson County Sheriff says the safety, security and wellness of all remain a priority, but could not comment any more due to pending litigation. Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News. That lawsuit continues against the jail's health care company and medical staffing company.